what is going on YouTube? It's your boy Denali, aka Don Squally, and we back at it with another Forza Horizon 3 build video, man. We out here in this dope mines GTR, man. Absolutely dope. Getting a little carried away, man. As you can probably see, uh, we're back at it with another one of your guys' requests. Now, I've seen this one pop up on the channel a number of times, and I was just waiting for this car to not be stock, man. And now that this thing is wrapped, it's looking legit, I think that we can build it in the game, man. Um, so this request is coming from Nathaniel Claudio, Eric Christie, Joseph Tripp, Jobin21, Alexander Underwood, Just for the Bants, Jeffy Fanboy96, Tyler Mosa, Francis Clody, Josh Logan, James Wolf, that one guy, Andrew Solomon, Brandon West, Preppy Sword 260, Jack Duffy, and Rip Toast 9 all want to see Tanner Fox's FRS, man. Uh, so with that being said, we are about to jump up into the buy car section, man. Um, now, this thing, I believe, is a Scion FRS. Um, now, there doesn't appear to be a Scion in this game. However, as most of you guys may know, the Subaru BRZ and the Toyota GT86 are uh, both the exact same platform as the Scion. In fact, the Toyota shares the exact same front body and wheels as the Scion. So I think for this build, we're probably going to go with the GT86. I mean, pretty much everything on this car is identical uh, to the Scion, the rear wheels and all that stuff. I was actually looking to figure out what the differences were. The Toyota and the Scion, pretty much the same. The Subaru has some distinct differences though, however. Uh, but we are going to buy this one up with the credits and jump up into this one. Now, for those of you guys who are new to the channel, I just want to say welcome. If you guys want to subscribe at any given time, man, we are uploading videos every single day of the week. Uh, so definitely keep that in mind. So definitely, uh, you know, stay tuned if you guys want to see more videos like this. And also, let me know down in the comments section what you guys want to see. And uh, we're going to do our best to get to that one. Uh, so right off of the bat, we are going to get into this build. Now, obviously, uh, we're not going to do any engine swaps with this thing because I'm pretty sure currently, as of right now, this thing stock powertrain. Now, I know in the near future, there's probably going to be some crazy mods that I'm going to have to do an updated one of these builds. But uh, I just want to see what we have available here. Now, typically with the Toyota, that 2JZ would definitely be the swap we want to go with. We're going to leave it rear wheel drive. And we're going to, I don't even know why we're in here, man. We just need to back that up. Uh, as far as the arrow and appearance goes, uh, I believe Tanner does have a very big aggressive front lip on here. So we're going to see if we can find something similar uh, for this car here. Now, actually, this bumper right here doesn't look entirely terrible. Uh, we might have to go with just the Forza with the nice front lip on there. I think that's probably going to be our best bet. Now, as far as the wing goes, I believe this thing right now rocking the stock wing on it. Now, I know I've seen a lot of comments on Tanner's video saying, oh, you got to put a big wing on it, this and that. I'm sure in the future, like I say, that's probably going to change. Um, but for the time being, we are going to go ahead and just leave it the way that it is. Now, as far as the rear bumper goes, I think we're probably going to go at the Gretty. That looks to be the, uh, you know, the best match for Tanner's vehicle. And these side skirts, I think we're probably going to have to do... Eh, let's go ahead and do the Gretty side skirts as well. And as far as the hood goes, I'm pretty sure the hood stocks. We're just going to go ahead and leave that stock the way that it is. Now the rims and tires, I'm going to leave the tire compound the way that it is just because we're not going to be doing any upgrades to this thing. Engine, maybe an intake and exhaust, but it's not going to be that powerful. And I think with the stock tires, it'll be a little bit more fun to slide. Now I'm going to skim through a couple of wheel options here until I find a set that matches Tanner's. And I think this set of OZ racing wheels is going to be a nice fit. Now I went through a couple of other different options and this... This set right here seems to have the most spokes, and I think that's going to be perfect for this build. 
Um, and I think I'm just gonna upgrade the wheel size just to an 18, um, just to give it a nice aggressive look. Now, as far as the drivetrain goes, just for my own personal preference, I'm gonna upgrade the clutch and the differential just to have a little bit of fun with this thing. Um, as well as the brakes because I like stopping. It's a good thing to have, uh, you know, when you need to stop, it's good to have that ability. And I'm gonna do some weight reduction, even though Tanner's uh, FRS, still full interior, I'm gonna do weight reduction again to make it easier to slide. Now, only a few modifications that I'm gonna do. At this point, it's pretty much stock under the hood. Um, so I'm gonna put an intake and exhaust. Now, keep in mind, guys, Tanner might come out with a video tonight or tomorrow, um, you know, with a whole new turbo supercharger setup, whatever the case is. I'm sorry, man. At this point in time, it's pretty much stock under the hood. Um, so we're going to go ahead and install that setup, buy with credits, and then we are going to jump into the tuning. Now, I'm not going to get too carried away. I just want to see our gearing. And even as far as the ride height and everything, I'm gonna pretty much just leave it the way that it is. One thing, one thing I do wanna do, however, is mess around with that differential. Um, now, typically in my builds, if you guys have been subscribed to my channel for a while, you guys know I like to slam things, man. That's just, I, li I, I like cars low. I really do, man. Even trucks and Jeeps and stuff like that, they just, they look so much better when they're closer to the ground. I don't know what it is. Um, now, as far as the designs go, we're actually going to search for Tanner's design here um, simply because there's a lot of decals and stuff like that. And for the sake of this video being relatively short, man, I don't want to have to make that whole wrap myself because I know it'll be very time consuming. I'm sure there's somebody out there that's already made this wrap to a T. Forza, a great marketplace for things like that. Um, so as you can see, we got a couple different different options here, and um, I think for today's build, man, this guy right here has got it. Now, he, although he doesn't have the, uh, I think it says Tanner Fox across the front bumper. Oh, my cousin Wheels, man! If you guys want to subscribe to his channel, go down in the to the link down in the description. Um, even though it doesn't have the, oh, we got a couple other different options. We were just loading here, ladies and gentlemen. Um, let's see. I still kind of like that guy's design, man. I'm not going to lie. He's got the paint nice. And I think, uh, I think that's going to be our best goal. Let me just, let me just check the Instagram real quick here of Tanner Fox, man. Yeah, that's, that's pretty much it right there. Like I say, aside from the writing on the front bumper, uh, th this one looks like it's about ready to go. So let's take it out for a rip, man. I'm excited to see what a pretty much stock um, Toyota GT86, otherwise known as the Scion FRS. Doesn't sound entirely terrible. And it actually drifts, man. That's the glory about these cars, man. And when they first came out, people were criticizing, oh, why do you put like, because these things literally have Toyota Prius tires. A lot of people actually don't know that, but there's a legitimate reasoning behind it. And that is because when you want to slide this car with as little horsepower as it has, it'll actually slide with these tires as opposed to, you put big grippy tires on this, forget about it, man. As far as the top speed goes, really there's nothing too fun about it. Um, it's not entirely too crazy. It sounds good. I'll, I'll give you that. Now really the way to go with these cars has got to be the unequal length headers. Um, a buddy of mine had a, actually a Scion, an FRS, unequal length headers on it, man. The thing's an absolute beast. I actually got a couple of videos of it on my other channel. Um, the link to that channel is going to be down in the description as well. Uh, yeah, it's, I don't know, he had a two-step on it. We went out drifting. It was, like, super awesome. Back then, I wasn't, like, I had a good camera, but, it, you know, like, my quality game wasn't up to, to not that it's really that great nowadays because I only have a little Canon point-and-shoot, but back then, 
I was rocking the iPhone at the time as like, you know, my primary phone and stuff like that, an iPhone 4. Now I got a Galaxy S5, I think this thing is. So like, if I need to shoot some quick video, it's like decent quality. Whereas back then it was iPhone quality. It was straight garbage, right? So um, yeah, I mean, it's an old school video, but hey man, when you need to get the shot, you get you just bust out whatever you can get. And I always say that, man. People always ask me, like, oh, they want to know how they should uh, start a YouTube channel. And then they get discouraged because, oh, you know, like, I don't have a camera and I don't know which one to get. And I'm like, man, everybody has a cell phone out there today. Whatever you're, you know, just pick a topic, stick with one topic. Don't, like, go all over the globe. Like, I found that with my original channel. Um... I, I upload mo mainly car videos to that channel and a few ATV clips and stuff like that. Well, I uploaded a few gaming videos and I just didn't really want to mix the two together, which is where I started this gaming channel. And um, so pick a topic and stuff like that and just film with whatever you got, man. If, if all you have is a phone or something like that, just film with the phone. If all you have is like a crappy, you know what I mean? Like just make sure you keep your footage horizontal and uh, not that straight up and down type of thing, and you'll be good, man. You know, and just uh, start from there. And as you build your fan base, you know, you'll get a little more. You'll you'll figure out which videos people like and what builds the interest and stuff like that. And then you'll then you'll probably be motivated to go out and spend a couple hundred bucks on a new camera. You know what I mean? So uh, yeah, film with what you got. But uh, this build, pretty straightforward, man. So if you guys did enjoy it, don't forget to smash that like button if you guys want to see more. And you are not subscribed yet, um, definitely subscribe, man. If you guys are new to the channel, like I say, we're uploading new videos every single day of the week. And, um, you know, we're taking requests every day of the week, man. That's what we do is just requests all the time. So, uh let me know what you guys want to see down in the comments section. As always, I am your boy, Dinali, a.k.a. Don Squally. I just want to say thank you guys for watching. And we're going to catch y'all mofos at the next one, man. Peace. Don't die. Oh, shit. Where you going, bro? Don't be creeping on my friend. Don't be creeping on my friend. You and your homie. Oh, nut shot. Nut shot. Oh, buddy. Yo, and your boy, man. Get him out of here. Oh, you fucking... Ah!